a while back I had a viewer post a comment and I thought it was a really brilliant comment. Basically what they wanted to know or what they asked was if you could take HDPE and melt it into a plug of the same size as a glue stick, put it in a hot glue gun and see if it would get hot enough that you could squeeze the HDPE out the tip of the glue gun, maybe make some type of apparatus to screw on the end and do some injection molding. I thought, man, that is really brilliant. So we're going to do a little bit of experiment today to see if we can do that. So I'm going to pre-warn you and say this is basically going to be a two-part video. Uh, we'll do an experiment today to see if this is even possible. And then the next video, we'll try to do some type of injection molding. So first things first, I, I needed something that I could um, mold and into a, a cylinder like this. And so I've come up with some pipe in the hardware store. And you can see that it fits fairly snug. It should be okay. Uh, hopefully when we put the HDPE in here and it cools down, it'll shrink enough so that we can get this back out and then we'll put it in a glue gun and see if it'll get hot enough. Now I did a little research and there are two types of glue guns. There's a high temp and a low temp glue gun. This happens to do both. And by what I found out, the high temps can range anywhere between 375 to 410 degrees. So even if this is on the low end on the high temp, it should still melt the HDPE. Now, can it keep up with the extrusion, meaning how much can I shove through the heat element before it has to kind of catch up and, and remelt it? So we just got to play with it and take a look and see. But that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the pipe. I've got a plug here, and we're just going to put the plug on the end. And then the next thing I needed was a source of HDPE material. And I've got some water jugs, and I thought, you know what? I think it might just be easier and maybe a little more fun to use some bags. So if you go to the grocery store, and you look at some of the bags, you get some of the bags in a grocery store, you'll see that they are indeed HDPE. So I'm basically going to shove as many bags in this tube as I can and bring this up to 350 degrees or whatever. And then I'm going to take a bolt and shove it in the end and take a C-clamp or a, a vise and keep shoving it down in and, and packing it in there so I get it as tight as I can. And then hopefully we'll have a plug that we can put into this glue gun and see if we can do some type of future mold injection. So I'm literally taking a bag and I'm just shoving it down inside this pipe here. And I'm getting as much in as I can. And then I'm taking scissors and I'm trimming the bag off and I'm putting it in a vise and I'm shoving the bolt down. And I'm gonna pack this as tight as I can prior to heating it. And hopefully that'll give us enough uh, length that we can put in the glue gun and see if this is gonna work or not. I currently have two and a half bags in this guy. And as you can see, we're just we're just compressing it. And the C-clamp does a very nice job of that. So I'm sure there's lots of air in this, and that's that's what has me worried is we need to get all the air out of this that we can. So our plug came out a little rough. Uh, in fact, it's it's rough on our plug because the inside of the piece of tubing that we used is pretty rough. Some of these are just air pockets and things. Uh, you can see the seam of the tube came out. However, I don't think we're going to have a problem. It is roughly the same size as a glue stick, and I think it'll serve just fine for our purpose. So we're heating up the glue gun, and we'll try to push this down through it and see if we can melt HDPE in a glue gun. plug fit perfectly down inside, and I'm going to use another glue gun to shove it on through. And I do have the temperature set to high, so hopefully it's above 350 degrees, and I'm kind of hoping it's more towards 400. But we'll let this heat up, and we'll take a look at it and see if we can extrude HDPE. Well, folks, I think we have totally ruined a hot glue gun, uh, but I will say that we did it for the sake of science. And if you notice, I have taken all of the EVA that was in there. EVA is what a hot glue stick is made of, and I've squeezed it out here into this puddle. And what is now in the chamber, I assume, is nothing more than the HDPE, because as I squeeze the trigger, I can't get anything else out. Now, it seems pretty warm. The unit itself feels pretty warm, and you can see back here where my finger is, some of the glue kind of oozed out. Uh, behind the glue stick. So we are apparently either clogged or the viscosity of the HDPE is way too thick to come out the small nozzle or maybe it just can't heat it up quick enough uh, and keep up with the HDPE for it to come back out. In a last ditch attempt to see if I can make this work I walked away 
and I've come back and I've seen kind of, um, you know, what you see here. And it looks like to me that it is actually starting to extrude and come out the end, as you can see, because the white stuff is HDPE. Uh, however, if I squeeze the trigger, it doesn't really speed it up any faster at all. Maybe just a, just a hair. In fact, I'm squeezing the trigger right now. So I don't think this technique is going to work very well for HDPE extrusion. Um, we'll come up with something. I have um, another idea of an extrusion machine uh, that's been kind of stuck up in my mind for a while. So like and subscribe to these videos uh, on and off. I keep kind of working for this material. I think it's kind of neat to be able to recycle something that we would throw, throw away every day. And this plastic is actually kind of a cool plastic because it's not as harmful as other plastics. So it's one of my favorites to work with.